been in the upper echelons of the sport for a good 25 years or so. Uh, Lakeside World Champion back in 1996, and and he's always there or thereabouts, isn't he, in uh, tournaments? And enjoyed a win here in Europe last week, uh, last year, I should say. Uh, the German Masters in Sindelfingen, a regular quarter finalist on the Pro Tour. So he's someone who. Uh, Still can do it on his date. Definitely, he's one hard cookie to beat. He really is. Again, he's another very, very solid player. Former world champion. You can never bet against a former world champion. You know, it's uh, again they don't win those tournaments for nothing. They, they, they win it because of being as good as they are. And in terms of um, throwing actions and styles that we've been talking about this weekend, uh, again, pretty much a textbook throw, isn't it, from Steve Beaton? Lovely, solid. Nice and smooth, oh, there. keeps the head smooth. still, his arm comes just from the elbow. Uh, very little to go wrong, as we would say. You know, it's, uh, He really is a solid, solid, solid player and solid throw. 134. That's good darts from Andy Parsons. He needs this, the Keefe Della. Oh, it's on, treble 18, double 12. They stayed there, that's, that's not a bad thing either. 98. Put a bit of pressure on this. So for an early break, man from Bristol he looking at double ten and gets it. Second again, Andy to throw first. Game on. Now get off big. Now get off big. Minimum hundred. This is looking good. Ooh, a great first start and the last two very wayward. Yeah, and he won his uh, two-year tour card at Q School on the second day. He won seven matches in a row 16. to win that. He just missed out the year before, um, despite in a nine darter at uh, Q School as well. So he's up and running now. Shows he's got the quality there. We did see him on the European tour last year in Dusseldorf, the European Open. He made the last 32. He beat Colin Lloyd 6-5 there. And then uh, lost to Andy Hamilton in the in the second round. No disgrace in there. One hundred. Hammer, one of the more solid players again around the world. We'll see him a little bit later on against uh, James Wade, I believe, isn't it? Uh, James Wade, uh, yes, up against uh, Andy Hamilton. You're right. That's their uh, third match on of the evening session. Yeah, some cracking matches. Mm, tasty. Coming up for the rest of the day. 45. That uh, Hamilton Wade clash is followed by Adrian Lewis against Dean Wynn Stanley. Phil Taylor against Michael Smith. Of course, Michael Smith famously knocked Taylor out of the world's Ali Pali. And then an all Dutch 85. affair Michael Van Gerwen against Benito van der Pass, who's been playing very good the last couple of weeks on this European tour as Benito. Looking forward to that one, especially this evening. I think. Uh, 100. I think van der Pass is going to push Michael. I'm not saying he's going to beat him. Uh, but I th certainly think you can push him, and Michael is going to have to be on his metal for that one. Well, I suppose it depends uh, how good uh, Michael is after Andy missing the event in Austria last weekend with that foot injury, whether he's been able to do much practice or whether that might affect him. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, Andy's gone here. He's gone for 90 he's got. 82. It looks like he's gone for he's treble gone 18, for double 18. Steve sat on a double. Had to go 20s first. Ooh, double 15. Had to go 20s first because he's not done himself Steve any favours. That's a great break, break back from Steve Beaton but straight away. To throw first. Game on. Yes, the first two legs going against the throw. Yeah. I say Andy Parsons there. He's got 90 left. He should have gone 20 20 ball or treble 20, double 15. Steve sat on the finish. If he goes 18, he's got to he misses the treble. He's got to hit another treble to lead the double. So you have to think, on the, think those ways. Oh, that 13. Steve didn't open up too clever and Andy's opened up even worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you think your luck could possibly be in. 53. Still not done a lot. 16. Georgie Noble calling the numbers. That's better from Beaton. After Much better. <laughs> six poor darts from both players. Puts Beaton in the driving seat, but uh, 
Andy Parsons hitting two trebles there. And uh, Andy practices uh, down in Bristol with Mark Dubridge and Steve Brown in the Cafe 501 and uh, was chatting to Dan earlier. I know Steve Brown, the academy he's running down there for the youth uh, and Jamie Caven doing likewise uh, in the Midlands. It's great that these players are putting something back. We've got the likes of Gary Anderson sponsoring a couple of the youngsters coming through. Same with Kev Painter. He's, yeah. he's, uh, he's got a youngster under his wing. Um, 140. I've been to Stevie Brown's Academy in uh, Bristol, been there a couple of times, and it's fantastic what he does for the kids. And the kids are really supportive, and so are the parents. Very important for the future. And it's a different environment from the, as we uh, just watched Steve here, morning double six now. Well, and you It is a different environment. It's not a pub environment a week will uh, up here. That, that's the thing, the sort of pub culture is sort of changing. Less pubs around for a start. And, and maybe parents don't want, well, particularly younger, younger lads, you know, mixing in a pub environment at a younger age. Just beaten takes out that for a two-month lead. And it's, uh, you know, a, 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 a safe, clean environment for uh, younger lads to pick up the game yeah, early. Right. And as we see, you know, some of these teenagers that are playing on the Pro Tour now, <laughs> very, very talented. Scary. Um, and, you know, very fit, you know, clean-cut guys. Absolutely. And, uh, it's, uh, the lovely thing, it is monitored by their parents or, or there's adults there that are looking after the kids in there. So um, what a great way of spending an evening, you know. It's... Um, and it's good because it's competition as well. Life's competition. Life's all about com competing. And these guys are competing at a very, very healthy level. And again, like we said, with the rewards of what can happen in the future. And he passes two of them in there. There's a one. One hundred and eighty. One hundred and twenty-eight, and you've won one hundred and thirty-six. Sixty. So Parsons down for a potential two data, and with Steve Beaton unable to uh, finish. Got to leave it tidy, though. On the treble, Steve. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Puts the pressure and on the seventy-six 76. now. He feels he's going to have to hit this. 16 for tops. Team Sean. Good dart. Good dart. Play the players to settle down now. Game on. That's it. They've got in their rhythm. And it's good because both of them are rhythm throwers. They throw nice and evenly. 100. What's the... And he just throws one odd way with one. So if it drops it in the five or drop low in the one. It's a nice treble 20 first start and then whoosh, straight into a five or the one. Just needs to tighten that up a little bit. 84. Yeah, Peter Wright or Johnny Haynes meeting the winner of this one of those two are next up on stage here. Wright, the number seven seed. Up against uh, Johnny Haynes who beat the veteran Dennis Ovens in the first round yesterday. That was a nice tidy game as well. Yeah, 6-4. Haynes won that one. Steve just hit a, a loose shot there that uh, Andy could jump on a bit. Steve might be looking at 105 here, depending how the throw goes. No, he hasn't hit a treble. 100. Andy's probably in the driving seat here. Yeah, if he could um, hit a ton 40, say, or... Yeah, please. 55. Um, not really going to happen now. No. It's a bogey it's, number. Yeah, exactly. He should have thought about his last start, to be honest with you. Steve's going to go 18s, I would have thought, yeah. 43. Uh, sloppy leg, this one, from both players. None, none of them... Uh, 
have really pushed in on this one, which they could have done. It's, uh, Andy could have definitely have oh, taken oh, advantage here if Steve's not playing so clever and, and vice versa with Steve. Be looking at the ball route here, going bullseye first. 57 now. However way he wants to go. 64. And he reborn. Similar. Ball route to go. Ball first. There, yeah, 25 ball. Always looks spectacular. <laughs> when looks it like comes off, 16, it looks nice. Yeah. yeah. 66 yeah. leaves 59. with 19. What's that? 85. So, Steve Three needs to hit this. Sixteen for double. That's a yeah. good dart. Yeah. That's a good dart. That can mentally affect Parsons now. Six Steve's got that on his last run. He sat there on a double, on. thinking he might get a chance, yeah. especially when Steve misses yeah. the first treble. There's that loose start. Yeah. There's that loose one loose start again. Forty-five. And he hasn't opened up big. Steve yeah. opens up 100, 140. Then, uh, great chance to break. Six deep. Uh, just six deep. Not enough, I don't think. Ninety-six. Yeah, so Peter Wright against Johnny Haynes 91. next. Then Mervyn King up against uh, Adam Hunt. And Dave Chisnell against James Hubbard completing the afternoon session. And then a, a shorter break 16. today. If you're uh, used to watching these European Tour events, we're starting the evening session earlier at 5.30 local time here in Gibraltar. 4.30 British summer time. So an earlier start to the afternoon session. And that uh, applies today and tomorrow as... It's his second 180 of the match. Well, they'll have six on this. Steve's uh, left the bogey. He can't finish on 162. He got Shanghai on it. Oh! <laughs> That's not a good dart at all. That's not a good dart at all. Fortunately, he's got another three at it. I suppose the fear is you, you want to make sure you're well away from the treble so <laughs> as not to bust. Um, but he did just over pitch it there that time. He did. He was nearer with the one that was outside. <laughs> no score. That's gonna. That's, 57. This will hurt Big Star. It really will. Two tens then for Beaton. Oh, and he's just inside. And he requires 40. Oh dear. Oh, and it's in the double Ten. five. He couldn't get much closer, oh, could he? He can't believe it. Neither can Beaton. He lives to fight another day in this Doesn't sixth leg. Good marker. Yeah. Steve Shaw to the sixth leg. Steve Beaton. Seven leg Steve to Peru. So a break there, 4 2. Good Steve now trying to go 5 2 up. Yes, that could have been a big, a big moment psychologically in the game, couldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 137. Opened up well as well, so all the pressure on Andy Parsons here. Is that loose one in the in the five again? Eighty-two. Forty-five. Oh. And just forty-five following it up that one three seven that he kicked off with. And uh, 121. The, the average is still not um, reaching any sort of dizzy heights, it has to be said, from either player. But uh, the most important score is that one which says legs, and the first one to get to six. That's the most thing that matters the most. It certainly is. 85. I think you put these ones down as a classic when they're battling each other, and it's, uh, you know, I'd say that the, the averages are not particularly good or particularly high 
but, um, but again, they've, 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 been, they've been dragged down, haven't they, by um, a couple of scrappy legs, like yes. tw 21 dart legs, etc., which haven't helped. That's right. Good dart. 97. It's 106. Treble 20 will be his first target. Treble 18, double 16. Ooh, 32, lose 74. Treble 14, probably. 46. And he passes it nice straight down the line. Treble 20, 20, double 18. Oh, 101. Oh. He can do it. Treble's yes. bullseye. Bullseye he wants. 66 score. Oh, 71. Do you require 60? 20 for tops. Well, oh, he's done it now. 15. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> well. And you require 45. It's sort of after you, Claude. They're both giving each other chances to t take these legs out. And they just. That's only just in the 13. That's good dark. Oh, that's seven so he's immediately broke back, so now we're back on throw again. So Stephen would be a little he's bit annoyed with that one. He, uh, great chance to go 5 2 ahead, and that's yes, hard to that, come back from yeah, there. 4 yeah. 3 Andy Fitz yeah. is in it now. We should do. And there's yeah, our loose yeah, that's 5 again. 5 again. 85. If he can correct that you know, and get all three, you know, that, that could be a treble 20. Yeah, but that could be a treble 20 or an, another 15 points on, you know, if it's in the, in the single 20. There you go, your legs are met. And he's run his legs in 17, 15 and 17. Yeah. Uh, Steve's had a little bit more luxury, really, with 17, 19, 21 and yeah. 20, like I'm saying. <laughs> Not setting the world alight, but uh, it's a great one. hundred and ninety. But as you said earlier on, Mike, it's uh, it's the leg score that matters. Sometimes you have to win ugly. Here we go, Stevie. One hundred and twenty-five. Andy needs to pressure this, which he's doing straight away. Does. 100. Steve, you require 101. Trouble 21st, I would have thought with Steve. That's where he merely goes. 81, 57, 24. Double 12. 89. 130. 60, 20 bullseye. And that's the way to go. Come there. 28. So double six then for Beaton to go to within one leg of victory and book his place in the third round. And no messing this time. Steve Beaton. And a break again. So Steve now actually throwing to win the match. Well, that's not how he would have wanted to have uh, kicked off the leg. Good recovery with the third dart. <laughs> it did recover it. That's a good first dart. There we go. And good second one. Go on. One hundred and ninety-two. His third of the match for the 32-year-old from Bristol. 99. If you look at that lad quickly, look at Andy Pars quickly, it's not dissimilar to, I don't think, Gary Barlow out of Take That, you know, or the judge on X Factor, whatever one it is. It's very similar to quickly look at. One hundred. Ninety-five. See, so he doesn't think about his finishing there. He's left one six six, which is a bogey. That's one thing you must learn. Me that leave Think, yourself thinking a ahead. Yeah. One hundred and thirty-four. You watch most of the Dutchies. Most of the Dutchies are thinking that from three hundred and fifty inwards. They really are. 95. Steve's got a great chance for this. Treble 20, double top. There we go. Double top for the match. Two tens. Ooh. 90. And he requires 71. If we look at a treble 13 here, I would have thought. Treble 13 leaves double 16. Single 13. He likes his 20s then, obviously. 
Yeah, 54. 14 tops. 18, double 18, whatever you want to do. It's, ask, it's <laughs> asking, Joel. <laughs> just confirming it. Just in the full way. Yeah, only just in. 31. Oh, well. Steve Beaton, he's thrown away one match dart. Can he do it this time? Double five. Good marker. Yep. Okay, and he wins it. And the match. Steve Beaton. Three. Steve Beaton gets over the line. The number 10 seed. So he will play the winner of the next match on stage here, which is Peter Wright, the number 7 seed, up against one of the UK qualifiers, Johnny Haynes.